is Lithuania. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Win for all! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Manila, the Philippines. The FIBA Basketball World Cup is about to rev its engines. The USA taking on Lithuania. Number two, Margaris Well, this Group J showdown for first place is what a lot of people were hoping for, I think, even before this tournament started. These two famous basketball countries loaded with tradition. And Lithuania certainly, I think, have uh, raised eyebrows by the way they have gelled, by the way they have played together with heart, intensity, and playing for the flag. It has been something else. Rokas Jokobaitis, Jonas Valanciunas, Ignis Brasdakis, so not just multi units, you name it, they've all been giving it their all. And Lithuania all of a sudden looking like a team that might go on a run here. Uh, but tonight they go up against maybe the favorites in this FIBA Basketball World Cup, the United States of America. It's going to be something else. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. And Mike, this whets the appetite, doesn't it? This is what we've been waiting for, Jeff. We know that these teams are through to the quarterfinals, so this is a great test where both teams can learn a lot about each other. The United States with a favorite coming in, tremendous athletic advantage, but this is the first real test of the FIBA style of play for this young United States roster. Lithuania plays physical. They'll try to play in the half court. They'll try to control the tempo, and this has the potential to be the biggest challenge yet this Tyrese United States team is facing. Halliburton. Well, United States uh, with Tyrese Halliburton coming out. And boy, I'll tell you what, he has been sensational for me, uh, as has this man, Mikael Bridges Halliburton singing, here comes the United States of America in the tunnel uh, as they sprinted out onto the court. I think this U.S. team is ready to kind of maybe pick up the intensity a little bit after their win over Montenegro when really, you know, had Montenegro made a few more plays, they might have won that game. Without a doubt, and right now, this is the time for them to start getting a, okay, they've had their introductory feel for the World Cup, and now they need to start turning it up. Particularly tonight, Jeff, let's keep our eye on the energy level, the energy plays. We know Lithuania is gonna bring it. The 22 offensive rebounds allowed by Montenegro showed that the United States, they had a lot of energy left in the tank they didn't use. This team needs to play every possession and play with detail to turn the game their way in this important matchup. Well, the reality is it is important, but perhaps more from a psychological standpoint, I would think, for both of these teams. But uh, we already know, and they already know, they're both in the quarterfinals. Uh, but anytime you you match two big time countries like this together, it's going to be big. Montenegro winning earlier today against Greece, 73-69, and now it's USA squaring off against Lithuania. And again, in Group J, these two teams come into this group, uh, come into tonight uh, at 4-0. So the the team that wins this one goes to the top. Montenegro the have clinched third, and Greece fourth. Their War Cups are over. And now, the playing of the national anthems.
Please remain standing for the national anthem of USA. It just does not get any better than this tonight. Lithuania and the United States getting ready to trade blows in a very good way in international basketball. And anybody that is in this Mall of Asia arena or watching on TV, I'm sure you're going to come to the same conclusion. Wow, this is what FIBA is all about. And it's important as we get a look at the referees. Yeah, the referees Takaki Kato there on the left from Japan, Antonio Conde in the middle from Spain is the crew chief, and Boris Krejic from Slovenia on the right. It's important that the United States understands that the energy will not only be on the court, it'll be on the crowd. What a fantastic anthem from the Lithuania fans. Something special. It always is, and the way they follow their national team is just awesome. I mean, that's the only way I could put it. Margaris Normantas, Tadas Adikarskis, Ignis Brasdekis, Rokas Jokobaitis, and Jonas Valanciunas with Maldunas, Mandogas Kuzminskis, Donatas Motiunas, uh, Aimantas Bengias, Karinauskas, Dimsha, Servitas, all coming off the bench. Whenever you talk about Lithuania right now, you talk about Jonas Valanciunas. He is the heart, he's the leader, he gives them the physical presence. They can dominate the paint, dominate the rim, and he will not back down from this USA team. This will be a great matchup with Jaron Jackson Jr., Walker Kessler, Bobby Portis Jr., Pablo Boncaro. Roka Jokobaitis has been arguably the standout player for Lithuania. They know him in America. He's already been drafted, and maybe tonight is a chance for him just to kind of remind everybody, hey, don't forget about me. Yeah, and Rokas has been outstanding this World Cup. Kajas Maxvidis has done an outstanding job. His staff is so well prepared. They have a great structure in their team. They're putting together great game plans, and I can't wait to see their game plan tonight against this really good uh, USA team. Yeah, Kajas Maxvidis has uh, truly been uh, hailed for the work that he has done, uh, especially at this FIBA Basketball World Cup. So it's going to be Mikhail Bridges, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart now in the starting lineup, Jaron Jackson Jr., what a center he is, Halliburton, Johnson, Ingram, Boncaro, Portis Jr., Kessler, and Reeves all coming off the bench. Austin Reeves, of course, one of the favorites here, the Los Angeles Lakers. They love the Lakers in Manila, but Anthony Edwards, might just be the most talented player at this FIBA Basketball World Cup. So this Lithuania defense will pressure USA 94 feet, and they will be physical in the half court. It may come down to creating your own offense, and no one will do it better than Anthony Edwards. Austin Reeves, he never disappoints, does he? And Austin Reeves, again, his three-point shooting, but the combination of ball skills and ability to create a three-point shot. Again, he's a one-man momentum swing because he gets this crowd right into the game every touch. Steve Kerr won the world title uh, as a player with the USA and has a deep appreciation for international basketball. Uh, was a part of Greg, well, he was the assistant coach to Greg Popovich for the last cycle at the last World Cup and also at the Olympics in Tokyo when the USA won the gold medal. Well, we talk what a great job Max Kazvidis has been doing, but 
Coach Kerr and his staff are also doing fantastic work with these young NBA players, giving them their first taste in a FIBA game, helping them grow and learn step by step. Today will be their first test, and it's great that it happens tonight to prepare them for the quarterfinal game ahead. Grant Hill, the managing director of the USA men's national team, obviously having succeeded. Uh, Jerry Colangelo, maybe the man, you know, his vision was to, to really create a national team program. And uh, he had Mike Krzyzewski at the helm, who coached Grant Hill when he was at Duke. And that seems like a nice continuation uh, of this program. And I'm sure he must be watching this game right now and really proud to see how the USA have come out at this World Cup. I love what the United States have done with this roster. There's great pieces. Now, this is the real test. How do they do in the moment where they need to win? So many uh, great memories of these teams having squared off before in international basketball, including at the FIBA Basketball World Cups over the years. They played in 1998, Lithuania falling, or sorry, uh, Lithuania winning in that one, 84-82, the FIBA Basketball World Cup. That was in Athens in 1998, and then, of course, in 2010, they met in the semifinals. That was when Kevin Durant just decided uh, we're going to win the world title this year and just dominated. Uh, but they beat Lithuania 89-74 to in the Battle of Unbeatens. And then the USA won in 2014 against Lithuania in the knockout round in the quarterfinals. And that was 96-68. to Excuse me, not the quarterfinals. Um, the, it was in the semis. But anyway, here we are. We're about ready to rock and roll. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the FIBA Basketball World Cup, the Mall of Asia showdown between the United States and the red, white, and blue, and the whites, really, going up against Lithuania, and already Anthony Edwards comes out and buries the jump shot. So, Jeff, when Valanciunas stays in the pop, if they pop Jaron Jackson Jr., they can get an unguarded opportunity from Anthony Edwards like they did on that first possession. Great game planning from Coach Kerr, great start to the game. I love the look of this energy from Team USA to start this game. So that last meeting at the World Cup was nine years ago in Barcelona in the semifinals, which the USA rolled to victory 96 to 68. Here's Valanciunas hitting the jump shot. Of course, his teammate Brandon Ingram with, in New Orleans is with USA coming off the bench. He had been starting, but now he's coming off the bench. Edwards comes right out. Edwards knows he can get that shot whenever he wants. He was patient. He set the screen up, going the other side. Got right into his rhythm. Great start for Anthony Edwards. Braz Vegas. And the ball knocked out of his hands. It'll stay at this end. 10 seconds on the shot clock. As always is the case, when the USA are in, in the arena, this place is buzzing. Normantas from the elbow. Brunson over to Edwards. Will it be three shots in a row? It's short. 
Bridges knocks it over to Brunson. Edwards to turn around, and it was a little long. Montenegro really pushed the USA in that last game. And here is Brunson winning the battle in that low post. He's so strong with Sedekerskis, and then he pulls up and misses the jumper. Jokovitis. And the ball, good catch by Sedekerskis, and then he misses, but goes back up and gets it. Nice job. But, Jeff, you want this pace if you're in the United States. You want to play fast. And that foul on... That foul on Normantis. So Normantis, you see the good transition here, the second effort, really good work from Lithuania, but this is a way for them to slow the game down with a foul, set their defense in the half court, look for Lithuania to continue to try to control tempo. Bridges gets to the baseline, back to Jackson. He goes right at Jonas Valanciunas. Can you believe it? Big Jonas with the swat of Jackson. Valachunas makes a stand, showing leadership for Lithuania. Sedekir scores for three! Goodness me! What a nice move, the savvy shown by Brunson. And Brunson can help the United States control the tempo by posting up or getting into the paint. He's got to get in there and help move the ball better than they did against Montenegro. That's a great play for Jalen Brunson. Valachunas and very cleverly goes up and is fouled by Jackson. And Jeff, the irony in this move is he swings through in an NBA move. He swings through and grabs the arm in a scene we actually see most of the time in the NBA to draw the foul. Great defense from Valachunas, and that is inspiring the Lithuanian team here in the early going. My concern for Lithuania is, can they control the tempo? They don't want to stay at this pace with the United States. Valachunas catches it in the low post. They stay with it, and Hart comes down with the basketball. He pushes it quickly. Oh, he gets rejected by Valanciunas. So you see the value of Josh Hart doing the tough things. But again, this early going, Valanciunas establishing rim protection for Lithuania. For this USA team, they've had to go up against Nikola Vucevic and Bojan Dublovic in that last game against Montenegro, and now they're going up against Jonas Valanciunas and Donatas Motiunas. Paolo Banquero has checked into the game. Edwards. He sees Valanciunas and turns around, gets it back outside to Brunson, who now drives, fades. And Lithuania are looking the part right now against the Americans who know they're in a game. Valachunas lets it fly from three! Talk to me about versatility! And again, this is great leadership from the veteran big man, inspiring his teammates, trying to raise their level. He's got a tough matchup now against Boncaro on the defensive end. Brunson, they leave him wide open and he misses another one and Valachunas brings it down. You can imagine we're going to see a lot of minutes tonight from Valanciunas the way he started. Yeah, and I like the fact that the United States has already gone to the bench. They've got a much deeper front court, different matchups. Valanciunas skip pass back to Jokovitis. Count it! And the men from the Baltics are flying early. Edwards gets deep and lays it up and in. And again, poise is important. Winning one possession at a time for both teams is key. Great play by Edwards to get to the rim.
And this time Brunson getting up close on Normatis and is called for the foul. So Coach Kerr and Coach Lou calling off the low post double. They doubled Valanciunas on the last play and Lithuania attacked it with precision. Jokobaitis, oh, he gets rejected by Bridges. And we see Jokobaitis in pick and rolls. He's so good going to his left to that pull up. But look at the recovery from Bridges. Unbelievable length to block that shot. Jokobaitis and gets it back just in time, lays it up and in. You love how competitive Jakobaitis is. No fear, right to the rim, and finish. Imantis Bengius is in the game now. Number 22, Brunson gets to the baseline. Banquero, nowhere to go. They go again, and Valentunas brings it down. Boy, he is owning the paint right now, especially in that defensive end. Brasdakis. Boy, he strokes it as well. Now, he scored the bucket, which is fantastic, but the, the intelligent trying to get two fouls on Brunson, putting him in the low post against Brad Stakis. Good patience and poise, and good game plan from Lithuania. Bancaro gets in the paint, and he's fouled. So Brad Stakis called for the block. I know they called on Normantis. It was before he ran into uh, Brasdakis. Valanciunas goes down. Now, this is key because Valanciunas has been quite possibly the best player in the game. He's going to sit down, and Montiunas comes in. But Montiunas also in for Lithuania. Montiunas played really important minutes in the win against Greece in the second half. They can play real pick and roll coverage with him and not have to drop into the paint. Tomas Dimsa also in for Lithuania. So. Krasdek is the only starter on the floor right now. He drives in against Kessler. Oh, he had the shot and just missed it. Now Bancaro in the U.S. come the other way. Edwards goes for the dunk and misses. Both the units deep, turns. But you see Lithuania game plan, post up, control the tempo. Edwards loses his handle as he starts to drive. Because he's Max Veed is coaching big time over on the sideline. Benches over to Karinauskas for three. Good! Lithuania are shooting lights out at the start of the game. It's a Spain pick and roll. Great teamwork and extra pass. Easy corner three for a high percentage three-point shooting team. Lithuania have not missed a three-pointer tonight. They are four of four. The USA have attempted two threes and missed both of them. And now Brasdakis goes out and Mendogas Kuzminskis enters the game. Here's Brasdakis. And, and Jeff, this is where the United States the lack of time together is challenging for them to handle a run. Now you need to be precise with your execution, who's getting your shots, how you execute each possession, what plays you're going to. And the defense, Bridges falls out of bounds. Remember, Kuzmiskis also had a spell in the NBA. Now he's back in Europe. So Monte Yunus has played over there. Brasdakis has played. Mendogas, Kuzmiskis. This isn't new to a lot of these players. No, they're not going to back down. And they've been together much longer than our USA team. Spain pick and roll again. Covered well by the United States. Go screen. Monte Yunus gets deep. Puts it up. I think Walker Kessler may have gotten his hands on that. And Lithuania, a little bit too much of a rush. And Demsha gets it back. 
Austin Reeves reaches in and commits, gets a grab. So, against Montenegro, as we see the hand check from Austin Reeves, against Montenegro, the United States allowed 22 offensive rebounds. This was obviously discussed with the coaching staff in this first quarter. Lithuania already has seven offensive rebounds, Jeff. It's the multiple efforts, it's the defensive discipline that will get them stops to trigger their transition and change this game. Benjus with a little runner. They stay with it. And Bankero and now Halliburton, who's in the game, brings it up. And he is fouled at midcourt. So here is the situation. They get the defensive rebound, they get out of transition. Lithuania intelligently uses their foul to give. This is the puzzle that USA must solve. They must solve it together. Kessler in the game early, looking for the lobs. Bankero has it knocked away. Good job by Demsha. Karanowskis. No look to Demsha. Wide open from the corner. Good! Lithuania are just knocking down one right after the other from three-point range. They are perfect. Five of five. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. The USA right now have been up against the ropes, and he needs to push the reset button. 23 to 10, Lithuania on top of the USA. Well, those Lithuanian fans, they came a long way to support their team, and they have been rewarded. You can see the passes that led this shot. Team comparison. USA right first on that stat, and Lithuania. Not quite as much, not quite as well. So, Jeff, you can see the lack of time together for their core. Their offense is filled with simple actions, and they rely on the individual talent, individual brilliance to create. But Lithuania is not backing down from that. They're going to guard your basic, simple plays. And when you force bad shots or turn the ball over, they're going to make you pay the other way. So this is where the United States has to be precise with their offense. I like the fact they've got their small lineup in. Let's see if they can pick up the defensive pressure. But this is great experience for the United States in terms of adjusting to the FIBA game. Thomas Demsa called for a foul on Austin Reeves. Cam Johnson has checked into the game, as has Brandon Ingram for the USA. So with this lineup, the United States has great length, interchangeable parts, playmaking, shooting. The key for them is stops on D, get out in transition, and execute in half court if you can't co convert. Portis looking on from the bench, look at, well, Karanowskis. Bringing it up the floor, hands it off to Mendogas Kuzminskas. Now he's going to try to post up Reeves. He spins, he goes up, he scores, and he's fouled. Well, that's a, a mismatch of sorts that we've kind of seen in this tournament, but Reeves has won those battles. But tonight, he's lost the first one against Karanowskis. Jeff, this was the post up play to the wing. In this case, Karanowskis. This was the post-up play that broke the game open against Greece. It was well defended by the United States, but Karanowskis won that battle against Reeves in the low post. 26 to 12, USA trailing Lithuania. Halliburton for three. Dempsey skies for the rebound. So many 
legendary players of international basketball hail from Lithuania. Sarunas Marcelonas. Sabo Arvidas Sabonis. Look at Karanauskas. Oh my goodness. They are shooting lights out. They've made their sixth consecutive three. Halliburton. 17 point lead for Lithuania. Cam Johnson misses. The USA digging themselves a hole here early. Kuzmeskis backing his way down now against Reeves. Putting it up and scoring. And the lead, incredibly, 19 points right at the end. What a first quarter of basketball for Lithuania. Sending shockwaves across international basketball with this opening quarter against the United States. They lead it 31 to 12. Well, Mike, there is a long way to go. But you have to say, Lithuania, I'm not sure they could have played any better. And again, the big difference, 6 for 6 for 3 compared to 0 for 5 for the United States. But Lithuania has a core that's bent together. They have a system that's established, and it's on display right now. They're putting the ball into the post to different players, the 5, the wing, and they are working together. They're getting buckets one-on-one -on -one in the low post or the post reaction, really making the United States pay. But you can take a look here. This was inspired by Valanciunas' defense. They got some easy buckets early. And this Lithuania team plays with so much confidence and belief in their system. Brunson was able to make that one, but he's missed a couple of shots that he would normally make. And miss is not what Lithuania have done from three-point range. I mean, everybody's making them. And you could say, well, they're going to cool off, but they've also hit some open shots. Look at this, wide open. Again, this is the multiple effort. This is the defensive detail. The United States has to do the little things better. Beating screens, defending the post, winning position, guarding the ball, blocking out. Get courtside 1891 in your smartphone by scanning in that barcode. You get video stream schedule scores and more. And again, Jeff, on courtside 1891, fans can see Lithuania has out-rebounded the USA 17 to seven in the first quarter, including seven offensive rebounds. This is a sign of defensive energy, of work. This is the second game in a row where the opponent has been so active on the offensive glass, they're giving themselves extra possessions. The United States has to clean that up. Well, they have just given up a dunk by Amantas Benjes here to start the second quarter as we're underway in the Mall of Asia. The last game of the second round group, Group J. The winner of this game clinches first place in Group J. Both teams will be in the quarterfinals. Cam Johnson stops the rock, hits a three-pointer. And that's great. Halliburton and Jaron Jackson Jr. passed up, open looks. Oh. Now the turnover, Mokyun is trying to get it to Karanowskis and the pass, Johnson saves it over to Anthony Edwards, wide open in the corner, he misses, but there's a tap in for Brandon Ingram. This is the way the USA needs to play. Get stops, get defensive rebounds, get turnovers, and get out in transition at pace. Half court, Lithuania has the advantage. Karanowskis going up against Edwards and they knock it out of his hands. And now Halliburton hands it off to Edwards. And another quick two. And Lithuania have to call timeout as the USA start to come back, as you might expect. Starting the second quarter with a 7-2 run. Kazis Maxvitas wants to talk things over. So you can look at the shooting numbers in the second quarter. And the USA with that Cam Johnson three and the layups feels already like they're back on track. 
Yeah, that's that's the way they need to play this game, and it's the battle of styles. Lithuania wants to control tempo, play physical in the half court, and execute their system. The United States is, does not have that depth of system. They don't have that time together, but they have the superior talent level, athletic level, so they need to lock in on the defensive side, play with those details, block out and rebound, play good position, defend. And if they can get rebounds and stops, transition can be open for them. But the funny thing is, you look at Anthony Edwards, eight points today, averaging 16 and a half points per game. I mean, Lithuania like to get out and run, usually. But they will need to control the tempo today because the depth factor and athleticism and skill factor is on the United States bench. Demsha for three. It's the three, another. They remain perfect, seven of seven. And when you let a hot shooting team really start feeling it, then all kinds of shots go in. Brandon Ingram, he's looked good so far tonight. Here he is from the elbow. And this is the Brandon Ingram I think that everybody was expecting to see when the World Cup started. Great isolation play and really big shot for the USA. 15 point game, USA still has work to do. Over the shoulder pass to Montayunas. It's good. Another three. And the USA, you know they have to be thinking they cannot continue to make threes. But well, the difference is they're making open threes. They did it against Greece last game. This is Lithuania basketball. You know Lithuanians can shoot. Wow. Anthony Edwards scores quickly at the other end. This is going to be a high-scoring game. Lithuania, eight of eight from three-point range. Edwards, meanwhile, has ten points to lead all scores in the game. Bounce pass, well read by Jackson. A chance to run. Cam Johnson, is he going to take it all the way? He's going to get it back to Edwards. And Edwards makes the three. He's got 13. And the USA closed to within 13. And Cam Johnson, not many minutes the last few games, really playing a big part here in this comeback. Great steal and unselfish play. Kuzminskis, that time a hand in the face. He makes it. It's incredible. I mean, is this the fastest start ever for an international basketball game? Nine consecutive three-pointers. Break out the record books. I just think we have classic clash of styles. Lithuania known as shooters, playing in the half court, creating for each other, and the United States going to work. Now, USA has to stay with it and weather the storm. There is so much time left in this game. They have the depth advantage on this team. Keep playing at your high pace, but pick up your defense and try to turn the game to your style. Jackson gets down to the baseline, and a block has been called on Multiunis. Second team foul on Lithuania in this quarter. Malatunis is going to come back in for Multiunis. Good call. He was definitely late. Montiunas has had a really good World Cup. He goes over to the bench as Valentunas comes back in. Ingram, feeling it. You can see it. Gets it back to Edwards. On the, behind the arc, another three for Edwards. He's got 16 points. Jeff, what a start to this game. Unbelievable. Lithuania scored 42 points, and we've still got six and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Valachunas backs up Jackson, puts it up, and he's fouled. And we saw lots of contact on the spin move. It was good defense from Jackson, but Jeff, consistently through all of our games here at Ball of Asia Arena, officials have protected the shooter. You can see the contact on the forearm. On the right arm. And it's been consistent. All of these players who have been in this arena know it. Jared Jackson Jr. disappointed he's picked up his foul but I, he knows it's the right call. So Jackson goes out of the game with his third foul, and that brings another rim protector in, Walker Kessler, who probably had one of the biggest swats in this World Cup. 
and this is where the reserves, the bench players, can really help the team. The biggest thing, there's six minutes in the second quarter. It's a deficit. The United States needs to trim into it. They've given up so many points in the early going. They've got to start locking down their deep. Lithuania is just not missing. They're shooting 100% from the line, 100% from three-point range. Inside the arc, there's 7 of 19, but they're out-rebounding the USA. 17 to 8. Here's Edwards, and... As good a player as he is, I'm not sure that was a good shot. You can see it's easier to guard a, a one pass or no pass possession in one on one. Brasdake is back in the game. He drives hard. Ed Walker Kessler blocked from behind by Brandon Ingram. And now the USA rim protection is there. Brasdake is probably would have been better off passing it back outside and traveling the call on Edwards. Remember Brasdake is played at Michigan, played some in the NBA. Look at Ingram, who's been terrific tonight. And that's the fight they need on the defensive boards. Cam Johnson with a tip to Walker Kessler. Jalen Brunson back in the game. Servetus has come into the game early as well for Lithuania. Here's uh, Jokobaitis. And the ball goes to Valanciunas. And, I mean, that's an extraordinary finish. It looked like Walker Kessler had it all covered. Valanciunas is so strong. Brunson, dazzling. Ingram. Ingram on the baseline. Look at Kessler with the rebound. Here's Edwards. Spent one year at Georgia. Now a superstar in the NBA with Minnesota. And Valanciunas gets the ball up to Brasdakis. Valanciunas thought about the three. Brasdakis drifts into the lane, puts it up and in. Boy, they are putting on a clinic. 48 points in the first half. And we've still got 432 remaining. Look at the delirious state of the Lithuania fans here in the Mall of Asia Arena. Lithuania has come out with determination, and they are putting on a clinic of offensive basketball. And, and Mike, you and I are not surprised how good Lithuania are. I think there are probably a lot of Filipinos that might be surprised that this USA team is not on top in this game. They love the NBA. They love Austin Reeves. But the reality is, in international basketball, you've got certain teams that can come out and put together performances like this. Well, national team programs are together and grown for a long time. And it's probably an advantage that a lot of these, like Lithuania, have. The advantage for the USA is the high talent, high athleticism, great physical bodies. But the continuity national, yeah the national teams have the continuity they have a depth of system and what we're seeing today lithuania has more options to attack and more options to create and jeff the concept is teamwork for a great shot you see lithuania come up with a purpose and play post touch post reaction play pick and roll they're attacking a certain defender they're attacking a certain situation the united states it's one pass and trying to play trying to play in transition get into paint and kick it the united states has to work harder together to become more difficult to guard by lithuania austin reeves guarded by servitas who really usually doesn't come into games until late but he's come out to play against austin reeves and he's going to get called for the bump. That's the third team foul on Lithuania in this quarter. Well, I think Kaj Maximinas is doing a great thing here, playing some of his bench. Jeff, this pace has been unbelievable. He needs to kind of manage the minutes of his important guys. The bench is key. Brunson has it. He's got Jokobaitis on his back. He goes in. Here comes Jokobaitis. Midcourt. He's going to go right at... Reeves, he passes out to Brasdikas, and finally, Lithuania missed a three-point shot. But Jeff, the ninth offensive rebound in the first half from Lithuania. 
Servetus, and he misses. Quick pass over to Reeves. He tries to get past Servetus, but he doesn't give up the baseline. Portis Jr. in the game. Now he turns. He finds Kessler. Kessler goes up and scores in his foul. And that was an example of great teamwork. Reeves wanted to attack. He was patient, put the ball in the post. And look at Bobby Portis Jr. Bobby Portis Jr. has do done so many little things for this United States team. And you can see him motivating his guys right now. He makes a great pass to Kessler, who stepped in the rim, and that's an important finish. Again, at this pace, it's more to the United States liking. They contribute to this deficit with execution. Kessler misses the free throw. Good defense this possession from the United States. Krasnikas gets it, and the pump fake, and Jan Valentunas goes up and scores. He got Kessler off his feet and draws the foul. And Jeff, I just want to say, look at this. This is Will. This is a player who wants it. He grabs the rebound, grabs the loose ball, and finishes through contact and willed it into the hoop. Let's talk about Jonas Valanciunas. Always, every summer, write his name down. He is playing for Lithuania. The legend, no doubt, is how he's going to be remembered. And he's still got a long way to go. Misses the free throw. 19-point advantage for Lithuania. Oh, boy, that was almost a double dribble from Reeves. Here goes Brunson, explodes to the basket, misses, and Valanciunas again. Big, strong, getting rebounds that the USA probably would have gotten against a lot of other teams. Valanciunas looking at battling against Kessler. And the second foul on Kessler. So, Jeff, Jared Jackson Jr. with three fouls, Walker Kessler with two fouls, and Austin Reeves with two fouls. Reeves remains in the game for offense, but both bigs are on the bench. They get it to Brad Dankis! And he jams it home off the inbounds pass! And Lithuania are flying! Great execution. Reeves. Pump fake. He misses, and again, another rebound for Reeves. Another rebound, excuse me, for uh, Valanciunas. Here goes Jokovitis, he's attacking, he pulls up, he gets rejected out of bounds. And Bridges, trailing by 21 points, has words with Jokovitis. Well, this is great recovery here. You can see the rear view contest, chase down situation. But now, the United States has to defend this curl. They do, out on the backside. Really good execution in this first half from Lithuania. Valanciun is guarded by Pancaro. And this time he tried to get the foul call. He doesn't go, the whistle doesn't blow. Brunson quickly to Bridges. He goes up and turns it over. Tried to pass back to Brunson. Jokobitis, he drives in and misses, and now Portis and the USA with a chance to run up the reeds. And he charges. Oh, they're going to call the block on Brasdikas. The body was set. But... Oh. Yo, Kavitas goes out. On the other side. And you hit with the knee. You have to stop until the contact. That's going to be three fouls, Jeff. Three fouls on Prasdakis. Wow, that's a tough call right there for Lithuania, but you love Reeves' aggressiveness. The USA needs these two free throws here, and they need to finish this last minute 58 strong. Trim this deficit. So the aggression by Reeves. He gets to the free throw line. He cuts the deficit back to 20. I mean, this... I don't, I don't want to say that the USA are shell-shocked, but I'm sure there are a lot of fans watching this that probably are. But when you look at the numbers, offensive rebounds, 10 to 4, and three-point shooting, nine three-point makes to three. 
The Lithuania bench also outscoring USA 25 to 13. This Lithuania team has come ready to play. Well, Prasnakis, one of their most important players out of the game now with three fouls, as you said, under two minutes remaining. Bridges guarding Karanauskas. Bridges, an elite defender. Kuzminskis takes it deep, hands it off. Servitas goes up. Beautiful play, Lithuania. Brunson, bounce pass, Portis. He gets to the rim. I love what Bobby Portis is doing for this team, playing really hard, impacting the game in a lot of ways. Bridges is working extremely hard. They're switching all pick and rolls. Servitas, bounce pass, and Bridges, great defense. I mean, that's all he does is make defensive plays. He's unreal. And that's the ball pressure. If they can maintain it, the key is off the ball. Nico Zesis, the Greece legend, watching tonight from the stands with some of the other Greeks that have remained. They lost to this USA team and Lithuania. Traveling, turns it back over. And, uh, you know, Mike, a lot of people talking about that game last night in the Araneta as, again, we look at the play to Servitas, the handoff. And it was an incredible display by Jordan Clarkson. But this is a pretty tough to beat what we're watching tonight, at least for the Lithuania fans. And now an offensive foul called on Lithuania. So they set up a Spain pick and roll action and Kuzminskis a, yep. got him. Look at Kazmax Vitas coaching his guys up. The intensity, the fire. So Kuzminskis is going to come out. He's got three fouls, so that's not a good development. And Sedekarskis comes back into the game. He doesn't have any fouls. 45 seconds remaining, but that's a tough one for Kuzminskis to pick up uh, with less than a minute to go. Edwards spins, gets inside, and has to settle for two free throws. But I love the action. They ran a ghost screen off the step up. The pace was so fantastic. The ball came to Edwards with an advantage, and he made a beautiful spin move attacking the rim. Great play call by Coach Curran's staff. Edwards. Well, he's led all scores tonight with 16 points. Grant Hill looking on. Digesting it all. And USA are going to keep the basketball. So 37.7. I think it's the first time we've seen Edwards miss free throws. And you know, it's amazing how your energy level goes up when you're hitting shots like Lithuania and how it goes down when you're missing shots. The key is to be consistent. The USA's got to keep going here. Reeves gets into the paint. Monte Yunus knocks it away. Brunson gets it back. Five on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Bancaro. He puts it up and in. Great job by Bancaro right at the end of the shot clock. Teamwork for a great shot. You can see the team locked in oh. to work together. Edwards guarding Karanauskas. Normantis, final seconds, taking off the clock. Normantis, set of Karaskis, puts it up. And good defense by Reeves. Although you got to be careful guarding that three-point shooter. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing has lived up to the hype. In fact, it surpassed it. It has been unbelievable for Lithuania. They lead it 54 to 37 over the USA, who no doubt have 20 minutes to put this right.
nine of 12 for Lithuania. So they missed their last three from deep. They had made their first nine, believe, believe it or not. Both teams of the 12 makes inside the arc. So it's the three-point shooting that has been the difference in this game from a scoring standpoint. 26 to 15 rebounding, including 10 offensive boards for Lithuania. But again, right now for Coach Kerr in the United States, they've got to go make some adjustments in the halftime locker room. You know, there's plenty of time left with their talent. It just comes down to defensive stops and offensive execution. Anthony Edwards, 16 points. He's hit a couple of threes. And Jonas Valanciunas, 11 points. He's even hit a three, but you also have to talk about everything else that he does, especially the rebounding. He's got six boards and uh, has had to compete against those big Americans in that front in that front court. But he's not, he doesn't shy away. Yeah, and you know, Jeff, when you talk about the situation facing the United States, this is a team's response to the stress of competition. For me, it's important that a team has that experience together to bounce back and manage these situations that come as stress in the game. And teams that have played in a system and have played together and know each other, they have a clear picture of what they need to do. The United States is still forming that because they're young players in the FIBA game. And in many cases, they're accepting new and different roles here with this national team. I, for one, think this is an excellent experience for the United States to test them and see how they respond. Well, the Lith Lithuanians began this tournament with uh, a win over Egypt. They followed that up with a rout of Mexico and then beat Montenegro soundly. 91 to 71 in their last group game. Then they took apart Greece. Well, really, they, they came to life in the second half and just pulled away for a blowout of Greece to clinch this spot in the quarterfinals. USA started with a win over New Zealand. New Zealand played well in that game, but New, you know, USA got to grips with them, their superior athleticism, and they beat Greece, Jordan, and Montenegro. Now they have faced, they're facing a real test at halftime. Lithuania on top. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. together. Basketball for good. Down the middle, throws up, and again, the king of South Sudan just went up Juba Airlines and connected with the alley-oop. Went young Gabriel. And the trail by 12 points. She's now trying to hang in the air, and somehow, someway, Shilde Dundal just went coast to coast. That is incredible, coach. Yeah, beautiful finish here. Dundal giving up so much size. Kobo is open in the corner. He takes his time, and for good reason, as you see that shot go in at the buzzer. Holding on, he'll give it to his buddy. What a nap. Hey, remember the name. He's gonna go to the line to shoot what He didn't even realize he got hit on the dunk. Blocks it out, looking for a three-pointer. Up in the mid range, puts it up and just gets it to drop right at the end of the first half. And you can just hear this crowd slowly get back into this game. Oh, what a rejection by AJ Edu. Throws 
Ahab's leg, Sarat flies in, and Ahab Amin, you're on the highlight reel. Max Shuni running. Extra handle, ball tune in the finish. Max Shuni. Just beautifully read. Knew that the defense was coming at him. Have a look at it. So he assesses the situation. He sees two of them coming at him. And the no-looker in transition. The pass deflected. It goes to Marai. Oh, he gets rejected. Tony Smith-Milner. Where did that come from? It's Mexico. raises her eyebrows. Way in the flush! That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Jonas Valanciunas doing everything Lithuanian need for him tonight. He's got 11 points. He's battled down low. He's got six rebounds. And additionally, at halftime, Valanciunas has got a couple of blocked shots. So uh, he's doing what he needs to do, but it has been a team effort. This team coming out, hitting nine consecutive three-pointers to start the game out rebounding the USA and Lithuania going up by as many as 20, excuse me, their biggest lead was 19, no, it was 21 points. There you have it. He's got 11, that's where he's made his shots. And Mike, uh, USA, they've got a game on their hands. They, we knew it coming in. This would be the biggest challenge for them. The energy level, the teamwork from Lithuania has been fantastic. But I love this opportunity for the United States to respond. Let's see how these players can face this adversity together. Let's see what type of teamwork they can bring in the face of this great challenge. Many of these guys have not seen the FIBA game like this on this stage with this intensity. I really am hopeful the USA can respond because we've seen other teams just respond and turn the game in the second half, especially here and break it open. Lithuania just did it last game. Uh, with Greece and the United States trailed to Montenegro at the half. So make some adjustments, clean up your defensive boards, work together, teamwork for good shots on offense, and chip away one play at a time. Win the next play mentality. Here you see Anthony Edwards again. He's been outstanding. They're trying to get him going. They got him going. That was great. The big point now is get some stops to help yourself get out of transition. So many great games that Lithuania played. USA, we talked about the times they've played at the World Cup. Uh, and everybody always remembers 2000 at the Olympics when the USA almost went down in Sydney in the semifinals uh, and then did fall to the USA, excuse me, did fall to Lithuania at the 2004 Olympics when Sarunas, yes, the cabbages went off. Of course, then the USA won against them in the bronze medal game, but it's a, it's a dream matchup. It doesn't matter if it happens in the group phase, if it happens in the semifinals, in the final. You know, ordinarily when these teams trade blows, Lithuania, I would say one of the few teams in international basketball that simply is not in awe of the American team. And psychologically, they believe they can beat them.
It's their tradition. It's their belief in the Lithuanian style of play. But you pointed it out earlier in the in the game, Jeff. Several of these guys have NBA experience. Valanciunas, Kuzminskis, Razdekis, Jakobitis, drafted. You know, like these guys have been on that level and they're ready to play for their country, trusting in their core and their advantage. Jeff, do you have an all-time favorite Lithuanian player? That's a great question. I, it would have to be, well, they've got so many. Um, True. I'm just going to say, well, you know, Valentunas ranks up there. Uh, he, especially with his performances and how he really puts his heart into this team. I loved Canietas. Great point guard. Uh, I, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm friends with Martinez Putsis, and he played in that 2010 team that won the third place game uh, against all expectations. Uh, uh, when I think of Lithuania, I think of collective. You, you want me to ask who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? Well, I have several, but I have to say my favorite, Arturis Karnishevis. Uh, now great general choice. manager uh, or president of the Chicago Bulls. Got, have gotten to know him through the years and just so much pride in Lithuania basketball, everything that the country and the game has meant to him. Uh, but, you know, there's so many great players to respect from a country that loves the game so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. I'm going to revisit. Let, let me just say this. Jonas Machulis might just be number one for me. Just those unforgettable memories uh, when he played at the Phoebe Eurobasket at the PBU baskets, but also the Olympic Games. Right. Diving all over the floor for right. loose balls. And My favorite, and I've got to tell you, KD, for me, is the greatest ever USA international player for what he's done. That's also a great call. MVP of the 2010 FIBA Basketball World Cup, and yeah. then he won gold. He was the leader. He was one of the leaders in those uh, gold medal teams in 2012 and 2016. And I'm going to go all the way back to the Dream Team and Michael Jordan. And I mean, that That's is... That's always a good choice. But that, yeah, but that also is what kind of shines so much light on the United States national team and, you know, the Dream Team. And and then for that international basketball... Changed the international game, basketball. Yeah, it, you know, it, but look at where the game is now with the competition level. And, and look at what Africa has done in this World Cup so far. You know, like... Yeah. All over, and this is what is, I, I've said it before, this is what I love so much about the World Cup. Different styles, different teams from all over the world, and you got to show up and bring it on this stage. Even a great team like the United States, you can make a run on them. But now let's see how they respond. It all starts with defense. Mike, I mean, I'm guessing, you know, you've been in this situation. You've played both of these teams before when you were the coach of Poland. Um, I don't, you didn't play Lithuania at the World Cup in 2019, but you played them at other oh, times, but you did I, play the USA. We've played Lithuania so many times. So much respect for these guys and, you know, their, their style of play. We played the United States. Scanning the barcode to get the FIBA Basketball World Cup app in your smartphone. It's got everything you need to cover this great competition. A lot of these uh, players, obviously, for both teams, they've been on the the lower end of, of a big score line and come back to win games. So they, they know with 20 minutes, there's a long way to go. Yeah, and you want to set goals along the way. Hey, let's get it under 10 with five minutes to go in the third quarter. Let's you know, kind of trim it, trim the deficit little by little. Remember, it, uh, as we start the second half here, uh, foul trouble for Jackson. He's got three fouls in the USA team. Brazdakis and Kuzminskis each have three fouls for Lithuania. Anthony Edwards comes right out and hits the jump shot. He is a scoring machine, Jeff, and the ball seems to find him 
Great work from the United States on the first possession. And a quick turnover for Lithuania. And you never know how a team is going to come out after halftime. Play by play. But it's little plays, little tur it's turnovers become magnified when they help teams go on runs. And the USA might just be about to go on a big run here. Here's Bridges missing. Sedekerskis with the rebound. Hart trying to guard Sedekerskis. Switching pick and rolls. Offensive foul. Called on Lithuania. Is it Balanchunas? And it's some of the some of the stars coming out tonight sitting in front of us. All the celebrities want to come and watch the USA play. Now, Jeff, is it interesting that there's so much talk about three-point shooting and shot selection in the NBA, and the United States creates shots into mid-range pull-up jump shots? I wasn't exactly sure what that foul was, but obviously uh, it was Valanciunas that picked it up. Here's Jackson, gets it over to Brunson for three. You can count it, and he is confident. And again, great post reaction there. Lithuania aware of the size of Jackson Jr., sent the second defender to the rim. And Jackson. already that lead has been cut to 12 points. Great start for the USA. Valachunas, oh, now they call another foul on him. Charging into Jackson. Steve Kerr, calm and cool, calls floppy. And Jackson now winning an early battle against Valachunas, who has two fouls. And Jeff, again, that word becomes so important. We've seen emotional discipline. Lithuania, how do they respond? Imagine what it would be for the USA if they could come back from this huge deficit to win this game. Jackson for three! And now it's time for the Americans to come out and get hot from deep. They have started the, the second half with an 8-0 run. Jokovitis pulls up. And there is the putback, and they're not going to count it. And they've called a technical foul on Lithuania for coming out and protesting. I think for not counting the basket. So Kaziz Max Vitas has been slapped with a technical foul. So Jeff, if we're analyzing this play, it looked like the foul came as Valentinus tipped it in. Yeah, it's a bit, that's a tough one to take for Lithuania. So they definitely so not had, any, had anything go their way here at the start of the third quarter, and Brunson goes to the line. The tough thing for the USA right now, they're switching pick and roll. So whatever guard switches on to Valentinus, it's almost impossible to keep him from burying you under the rim. So now it's an eight-point deficit. They trailed by 17 at halftime, and this looks far more manageable now for the USA. Jokovitis taking on Edwards. Edwards reaching in, knocking it away. Are they going to count it? Are they going to? They're not going to count it. They're going to give the basketball to the USA to inbound. That's a tough situation as well. Such great defense. You earn the breakaway and eventually come up with it. And just like it felt like everything was going Lithuania's way, for much of the first half, now suddenly nothing is going their way and everything is going the United States way. You know what they say, Jeff, basketball is a game of runs. 
Definitely from a psychological standpoint, you wonder how this is going to impact Lithuania. So again, the short shot wow. clock, 14 seconds, because it was entered in the front court. USA did not have the awareness that it's not a 24 second shot clock. They had the right idea. They put it in the post, but they felt like they, they understood they were working with a 24 second shot clock. So that was a tough break for the USA. Edwards thought he had a, a layup and it didn't count. And now let's see if Lithuania can get back on track. Quick pass to Brasdakis and fouled by Hart. That's his first foul. And getting a look at the Italians here scouting tonight. The Italian coaching staff other than Gianmarco Pazeco. There is Normantas. Big shot for Normantas. Pushing it back out to a 10 point lead. Bridges gets to the rim. And now the game coming a little easier to the United States. Starts with their defensive pressure in the half court. And Norantis was fouled. Oh, what a game. I mean, this is the game. This is the game. I've been we, waiting. Yeah, we've been waiting for something like this. It. Yes. We've been watching everything up in Okinawa. Everything's happening in Jakarta. Those incredible results. And boy, this one has really come to life. Balance shooters. Yokobitis, that's long. Ball falls to Setakarskis. Puts it up. That's not going to count. So, turnover. This time on Lithuania. No, don't get me wrong. We've had some great games. It's been very enjoyable, but this just takes it to a different level. USA back into their floppy action. Traditional NBA set. There's Bridges in the paint. And the lead is six. And Kaziz Maxvitas has to call timeout. He says we can't leave the paint open. And Jeff, this is so encouraging for this inexperienced FIBA United States team. Their collective response outstanding this far in the third quarter. Well, Mike, we have... Okay, we're going to listen in. So Bridges has not just been defending, he's been scoring. Well, he's got such length. Look at him go to the basket and cover ground. So athletic, and then curling the screen to the nail. Feels like he's got more than six points, to be honest. Well, he's got important baskets that came at big times for this United States team. But this has all started with the United States defense, defending the ball better with more ball pressure, having better coverage. Prasdakis puts it up and misses, but the ball falls to Normantis. Can they get it? No, they cannot. Brunson has it. And he just gets all the way to the rim. And look, the United States, like hitting this Lithuanian team like a tsunami. Normantis for three. Jackson with the rebound. The USA, a chance to close to within two. Bridges. If they hit a three, they'll pull it within one. It's Jackson. 
the pace is back to where the USA wants it, but it's because of the defensive stops and defensive rebounding that triggers their transition. Brasdakis has three fouls. Jackson switches on to him. He goes up against Jackson. And a foul called on the USA. Foul on Brunson for a push. That'll be three. It, well, I don't think it was a push that he needed to make. That's the thing, but there he was scoring at the other end. But what was the gap to four? What I love is the effort, the visible effort that you see from the United States on the defensive boards right now. Lithuania is still out rebounding the USA 31 to 17. Paolo Bancaro checks into the game. Brunson goes out. Halliburton also comes in. And Matiunas puts it up and in. Coming off the bench, Matiunas spelling Valanciunas. Jeff, it's the same play that they ran for an easy bucket in the first half. They've got to do a better job handling that screen. Demsha also in. And Edwards falls down. Here's Jokobitis. Hands it off. And there's the flush from Sedekerskis. And suddenly Lithuania respond with a run to go back up by eight. So the easy basket from the end line play. And then you would love to see Edwards give it up to his teammate Boncaro for the easier finish. Lithuania running it right back at the United States. But instead, Edwards trips, and that triggers the break for Lithuania and an easy bucket as they recapture a little bit of momentum. Without a doubt, great response from Lithuania. The crowd here loves it. After the Edwards, would you call it? I guess it was a turnover by Edwards. Well, yeah. Or just he was falling and shot it. Sometimes a bad shot is also like a turnover. But Jeff, let's talk about Coach Kerr and Coach Lou. T. Lou trying to give the, the players the details they need to defend that end line play. And then I love Coach Kerr. Hey, you just have to accept you're not going to get the call. We are not seeing United States players talk to referees unnecessarily. Really good discipline for these guys. Bridges. Oh. And USA turn it over again. Here's Brasdakis. And Sedekerskis flies it and gets rejected by Edwards. But there's Jokobitis for the follow. Well, it's a great swat. But you got to get the basketball. The lead goes back to 10. Edwards, what a finish, going right at Montiunas. He is something special. A block at one end, a finish at the other. A game-high 20 points for Anthony Edwards. Bounce pass, read by Edwards. Brasdake is not able to pick it up. The USA has it. Halliburton, head up. Hands it off to Edwards for three. And that was short, but Halliburton gets in there, gets the rebound. Another chance for Edwards for three. Not again. Unbelievable. The USA, the ball on the miss bounced off the rim on top of the backboard. But now the USA throw it away. Boncaro really looking to get the ball to Edwards there. But this is the type of effort the United States needs. This is outstanding energy from the United States. Now Bridges has it. And the ball's bouncing around. Who's going to get it? Boncaro has it. USA, cross court. Bridges. Oh, he charges into Moti. Oh, my goodness. They have called another block on Lithuania. I 
thought he had, I thought he was set. They have not been able to get a charge call on the USA. You have to love Bunting Yunus giving up his body. He's doing exactly what he's coached to do. You can understand the frustration from the Lithuania bench with several tra block charge calls going the other way. But just like Coach Kerr did in the USA huddle, they've got to also say, hey, accept it, move on to the next play. Bridges makes the first. And he can cut it back to six and does. USA at the free throw line shooting 70% now, seven of 10. Krasnikas goes right at Bankero, passes it back to Demcha who misses the three, but Karanowskis is in. Ben just puts it up, it's good. And that's what he does, he's a three-point shooter. Reeves back in the game for the USA. In the left corner, as is Ingram, who's in the right corner. Bridges from downtown, rattles it in. I think these USA guys are having a good time. This is great competition. This is a fantastic basketball game. Krasnikas. Going right at Reeves, the help comes. Now he's gonna go right at Reeves, and the foul on Reeves. So it's clearly part of the Lithuanian game plan to post up Reeves. You see they're going at him. Two hands in the body as Brasdikas went to the rim. So Reeves now with three fouls. That was the Bridges three-pointer. Portis Jr. back in the game. Karanowskis. There's Bridges going out. I mean, he's just been solid every single game for the USA. Yeah, he's a two-way player. He's got perimeter shooting skills. He can get to the rim. Multi-level score. Brasdakis now with seven points, three assists, two rebounds. He had that ferocious dunk off the inbounds pass. I guess both up to go. He plays memories from Canada. His parents are Lithuanian and played in Michigan, played with Orlando. Oh, now the pass up to Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram gets it deep and puts it up and in. Brandon Ingram can get a bucket. Lithuania caught sleeping. Intelligent from Halliburton. Ball ahead, Brandon Ingram, two. Kuzminskis back in. Remember, he's got the three fouls as well. He turns, puts it up, and no green shirts for the rebound. He tried to foul Halliburton to stop the play. Halliburton goes around Montiunas, hands it off to Bancaro, and he gets it to drop. So you love Halle Burton's unselfishness. He got the mismatch and then he's looking for other people. He's really important for this team's offense. Benches from deep, long this time, but the ball not rebounded by Ingram and Lithuania get a new 14. And the ball, oh, look at that. Fortunate for Lithuania, the ball lands in the hands of Kuzminskis, and he scores from the baseline. Ingram again, pushed out, look at him turn. Oh, goodness me. Just call him buckets. You, you love how he's attacking the rim right now. He's not settling for perimeter mid-range shots. USA have shaved 13 points off the Lithuanian lead from halftime. Lithuania with a chance to take it deep here into the shot clock, into the game clock. Benches puts it up. They battle, and Kuzminskis with the putback. 
Don't think he doesn't have a lot to prove tonight against these uh, USA players. Not having to have the, I'd say, successful scent in the NBA. There he is, putting it back up and in. What a game. 71-65, Lithuania still have their noses in front of the USA, but objectively speaking, for how long? That was a great response collectively from the United States. What a run to start the third quarter, 15 to two. Lithuania cools off from beyond the arc. The United States hits a few. You can see the advantage. Points, two point range and free throw attempts. Rebounds are still in Lithuania's favor, 36 to 20. But the effort of the United States was impressive in this third quarter. You could see the heart was there, the will was there, the determination. And now we've got a great fourth quarter ahead of us, Jeff. Yeah, it's amazing how things can break sometimes. Basketball is a long game, and it's a game of runs. And it's about maximizing your possessions. I mean, yeah, it almost felt like Lithuania was going to cave in, but they didn't. So I guess that bodes well for them. Yeah. The, the question I have now is coming back takes a lot of energy. The good thing for the United States is they have a deep bench. But how much energy have they exerted in the comeback? And for Lithuania, how does their bench handle the pace that they've been playing at? This fourth quarter will come down to heart. Cam Johnson back in the game. Portis as well. So fourth quarter underway. Lithuania leading at 71-65. Karanauskas, Normantis, Montiunas, Benjus, and Kuzminskis in the game for Lithuania. Cam Johnson, and that was a foul called on Brandon Ingram. And what do you think about Montiunas so far? I love what Montiunas is doing, but Jeb, if you've, if you've seen this Lithuanian team play through the years, they have all kinds of unique high-low looks. And that was a great one from Coach Max Venus drawing the foul on Ingram. And look at the physicality now from the USA. They picked it up. Great job on the end line there. Karanowskis. Back to Kuzminskis. Feet set and misses. But there's Karanowskis with the putback. So, Jeff, the United States must block players out. There are no blockouts taking place. 22 offensive rebounds last game, 18 now. Please block someone out. What a pass. The finish wasn't there from Portis, and now a chance to run for Lithuania. Four on three break. They get it to the corner. Vinges is blocked by Halliburton. Terrific play by Halliburton. And now the USA are running. Ingram with his back pass, but it gets away from Reeves, and Normantis is going to leak out for a wide open layup, and Lithuania go up by 10. Halliburton into the paint, hands it off to Portis. I love Halliburton's unselfishness, making an easy play for his teammate. Great job. Normantis goes behind his back, gets it to Motiunas, who's posting up Reeves. He puts it up. So there's got to be some emergency double team in place when it's Montiunas or Valentunas against a small guard. And a trip called, and that is number four on Kuzminskis. Minute and a half into the fourth quarter, and he may have to come out. So Brasdakis will come back in. Brasdakis has three fouls. For the USA, Jackson and Brunson each have three fouls. Here goes Reeves, into the paint, does a great job! Wow! Absorbing the contact and then getting the basket. Jeff, that's fantastic. Handling the ball pressure and watch him get, get the corner. He's being held and now decelerates right into the defender and still has the touch to make the shot. 
So that cuts it back to an eight-point deficit for the USA. Reeves makes the free throw. And now it's back to seven. Remember, Reeves played so well for the Lakers in the NBA playoffs against Steve Kerr's Golden State Warriors. Karanowska spins, turns, puts it up, and he gets it right back. Unbelievable. Shrek is in the house. And we love Shrek, Jeff. <laughs> Look at this. How many times? I mean, it's just a struggle for Reeves against this Lithuania team, keeping him out in that low post. But this is really good game planning from the Lithuanian coaching staff led by Kaz Maxvidis. They are not only a post-up team through the five, but they'll post up the four, Kuzminskis. They'll post up the wings. And we have seen Karanauskas go to work against Greece and now go to work against Reeves. Edwards. And cometh the hour, cometh Edwards. He's got 22 points which is a game high. Karanowskis has been the real surprise for Lithuania. He's got 14. And USA have to be careful. They don't want to get a technical. I think the USA is saying, hey, how long is he in there? Three seconds. <laughs> That's a... I mean, I don't know how the foul was on Halliburton because he was, <laughs> he, was, he was pushing him. Yeah, he was fronting. Gorbachev to Valentunas, travel, no nope, foul in the lane. Great pass there from Normantis on the slipping Valentunas. Valentunas so strong. As soon as he got his hands on that ball, Camp Johnson couldn't knock it away. Valentunas turns in. Bobby Portis, Portis not backing down. Oh, look at that. And Edwards, that is just way too careless for Nomantis. What is he thinking about trying to dribble the ball in front of Edwards like that? Yeah, he's got to be strong and sure. And the thing that you see, he didn't even complain, just ran back on D. He knew it. You know, Jeff, we've said all, all game, the USA has plenty of time, plenty of time, but. Time is running short on him, seven minutes to go. Here's Brandon Ingram, missing from three, and a strong rebound for Normantis. And, the, and Lithuania's leading scorer of the night has the ball, Karanauskas. He gets it deep, he puts up another one, and now misses. Boy, he had a wide open look from about five feet. Edwards, offensive foul, moving screen on Portis. I think they call just a little shoulder or elbow chuck. Seven minutes, now under seven minutes to go. And Brandon Ingram reaches in and fouls Benjus. And now, Jeff, Lithuania will shoot the bonus the rest of the game. Edwards, interesting line on Edwards. He has no points, no assists. Excuse me, he has no assists, no rebounds, but 22 points. That's a He's bizarre. just getting buckets out here right now. But I think he can really do so much more, Jeff. The big thing for me is the defensive rebounding can't just be big men. It's got to be team rebounding, and it starts with physical blockouts. And they were out-rebounded, what, 17 by Montenegro, and right now they're being out-rebounded 17 by Lithuania. It's a factor. So the lead back to 10 points for Lithuania, the men from the Baltics. Anthony Edwards for three. He's got 25 points.
Brasdakis for three! Gets it right back! Edwards. And the response by Portis, and he is fouled! So now he goes to the line for a three-point play. Jeff, I can't say it enough how important Bobby Portis is to this team because he brings that front court physicality. Look at this strong finish to the rim. The United States needs stops. Great play, Portis cuts the deficit to seven points, Bridges back in the game, arguably the best defender in this USA team. Prasdakis gets it deep, loses his hat footing, gets it to Benjus, and he nails the three from the corner. Anthony Edwards lost Benjus, Benjus made him pay. 12 threes have been made by Lithuania, they're 12 of 23. Karanauskas fouls Halliburton. See, Ben just lost the ball, or Brezikas lost the ball. Ben just drifted to the corner. And those are the small details that the United States has to clean up to get these stops. A lot of those Lithuanians on the plane with me when they got off. I was amazed by how many turned out here in Manila. Halliburton missing it. No, it falls through. The basketball god smiling. Shooter's touch, Tyrese Halliburton. Jonas Valanciunas going up against Portis. And the foul on Portis Jr. Hey, Jeff, that is so hard. Look at this great. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I can almost touch it. Unbelievable. Back down. Fans love it. Wave the flag. Shooter's bounce. So, Valanciunas is so big and strong. Portis is trying to battle him for position, but he just leaned on him, called for the foul. So, Valanciunas goes to the line. He really set the tone tonight with his physical play for Lithuania. That combined, obviously, with that outstanding passing defense and, and shooting from Lithuania. Well, Lithuania's played a complete game out here today, Jeff. They've really been good on both ends of the floor, but there's still five minutes for the USA to turn the game. They need consecutive stops and execution on the offensive end. He misses the second, so it's an eight-point lead for Lithuania. Is Brandon Ingram going to drive? He's going to put it up over his New Orleans Pelicans teammate. You know, he can get a shot whenever he wants, so smooth, mid-range pull-up. What a battle. And offensive fouls out on Valanciunas. It is indeed, and he has got four fouls. And now the question is, is Montiunas? Yes, Montiunas will come into the game. Jackson back in the game, and now you wonder if there's a slight advantage in that front court for the USA. Coach Casvitas encouraging Valanciunas after the sub. Oh. And you know, the late Secretary General of FIBA, Borislav Stankovic, and the former NBA Commissioner David Stern, when they got th this idea about getting these players together, playing at World Cups and Olympic Games, this is what they had in mind. There's no doubt about it. This has been a fantastic evening of basketball here in Manila. I should say late NBA Commissioner David Stern as well. Here is Brunson! Is back to four. Jokobite is relatively quiet tonight. He drives in, passes to Sedekaris because he gets in. The ball knocked out of his hands. Matiatis gets it! He puts it up and in! 
Extraordinary. Now Ingram to Jackson. The ball knocked out of his hands. Yokobitis has it. And Normanta selects not to shoot it. He brings it back out. Coming up on the four-minute mark, Lithuania leading it by six. Edwards playing the D. Remember, he will pick your pockets, but Brazdakis keeps it, drives in. And the ball's going to stay with Lithuania with three and a half seconds remaining. Unbelievable. With that, you simply cannot dribble in front of Anthony Edwards like that. That is unbelievable ball pressure. He's hounding Brad Stakas, speeds him up. Brad Stakas out of control, right into Jared Jackson Jr. You'd love to see Jared Jackson Jr. try to take a charge there. Brad Stakas goes out because Miskus is going to come back in. So now, Jeff, with this lineup from the 20, you got to watch that popping a shooter here back to the three point line. Miskus. Oh, give me that. And right on cue. Oh, I don't believe it! You cannot be serious! Kuzminskis, under incredible ball pressure, throws up a prayer over Anthony Edwards and scores! It's a nine-point lead! And now Bridges! Oh, he stands up, that's traveling! Watch this! How in the world does he score? How does he survive that one? Well, that's the kind of shot all Lithuanians practice in their backyard. And Steve Kerr knows a thing or two about hitting long range shots. He was among the best. Normantis takes it deep. Back to Jokobitis. The dump down low. And offensive foul. And it's on Mati Yunus. So USA get it back, but down nine. Brunson brings it across midcourt. Edwards. He's got 25 points. He puts it up from deep. Short. Now it's going to be Ingram for three. And Sedekarskis can't get it, but Jackson fouls Sedekarskis. Two good looks for the USA. And Mike, the USA clearly can come back from a large deficit, but on the other hand, it's tough to come back all the way from a 17-point deficit yeah, or 19. But or 21 this, is what it was. This is where experience together would really be, you know, helpful for them. You know, they would have more plays that they could go to. They could have more situations they could, cre could create. I love what Coach Kerr did. He went back to the first play of the game when they popped the five and brought Edwards from the second side. He got a great look at the top of the key. But again, when you come back from such a large deficit, you expend so much energy. Now, there's 2.58 to play. They really need stops and to be efficient on the offensive end. Seneca Karaskas now has eight points to go with his game high. Nine rebounds for Lithuania. Ten point lead, just under three. And Reeves misses. And it's Seneca Karaskas with another rebound. So again, Jeff, the United States' last three attempts were three-point shots. The first two were open. This one, Reeves checks in, and he just takes a step back, contested three. You've got to work harder together, teamwork for better shots in these winning time possessions. Karaskis makes the first. Yeah. 
and the second. USA with work to do, Jeff. Well, it truly has been a fight. Here's Edwards, and Edwards again! And now you cannot trade baskets. They've got to get defensive stops. Here's Jokobitis. Calls for Edwards, gets the steal. He pulls up from deep. Oh boy, that was what he needed. And then Reeves fouls Sedekerskis who had just collected his 11th rebound. Yeah, great job by Sedekerskis. Reeves hustles in, he gets the ball. But again, Jeff, this is reaching around the player. You're clearly gonna get called for a foul in this situation. You can see it right there. He reached around. That's clearly a foul. It's great effort from Reeves. So many of these players have contributed in so many different ways. For especially for Lithuania. Now Reeves is coming out to talk to the referee. He has to be careful. He doesn't want to get a T. Oh, tracker and the amount of time that Edwards has spent on the court just shows how valuable he is to the USA 26 and a half minutes almost 18 almost 19 minutes for Valentunas both teams both many players are really giving their best but the effort from Valentunas the effort in this game has been fantastic I mean, that, that shot by Kuzminskis I don't think the USA can quite believe it. I don't think anybody can believe it that's watching this game because Minsk has hit that shot. But it has been a crazy game. Crazy. Uh, and this, that shot kind of sums up this game. USA has put wait, wait, great wait, ball pressure on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the goal is entering on the basket, this is not a violation. We consider the basket valid. This is the rule. It's like that. That's why we, we call just to avoid any foul after that. And we will stop everything. But if the basket enters, then we cannot uh, cancel. And the first one goes for Sedekaris, because the double-double, I mean, it's it's kind of been almost a quiet double-double, hasn't it? He has been sensational, though. Well, he's done it through hard work, and he's been a key all of their games. He's been the cross-match defender. He's been a key rebounder. Ten-point deficit, one timeout left for the United States. And Edwards goes down and is fouled by Sedekaris. That is his first foul. USA can come back from a 10-point deficit with two minutes left. Without so, a doubt. This thing is far from over. They know it. Lithuania knows it. But, Jeff, in general, the USA dug such a big hole, and now when they need to get defensive stops, they have not been able to come up with it. Part of that due to the lack of offensive re or lack of defensive rebounding, allowing the 18 offensive boards, and again, I want to go back to the fundamental details of blocking players out. In the FIBA game, it's critical for success. And the Stars came out tonight once again to watch this game, to watch the USA. And I'm sure that they've been called by surprise tonight, like a lot of people will be. But this Lithuania team has been playing great basketball all summer, and they've been getting better and better. And you can be better believe that people back home in Vilnius and Kaunas, Panavicius, everywhere is going to be excited about this team as they continue to pour it on. Oh, Edwards just throws it down.
play stops for a substitution for Lithuania. So he just flies high and uh, Ed Edwards is not going to quit playing. That's for sure. Kuzminskis over to Jokovitis, who's fouled by Jackson, and Jackson has fouled out of the game. Great effort going for the steal. Good USA. Applying full court pressure, trapping Lithuania, showing good floor spacing and teamwork against the pressure and traps. That ball sailed. Jaron Jackson Jr. thought he could make a steal. Too much contact. Good effort. So Jackson goes to sit down, and the USA, who remember, avoided an early. Uh, a first or second round defeat at the last few basketball world cup but one sorry but suffered one in the quarterfinals against france now looking down the barrel but jeff they won the important game against montenegro to get to the top eight this is for matchups and this is a fantastic experience for them to break down on video evaluate and say hey these are the things we need to do better consistently to really win this World Cup. We're yeah, not... that, that was my point. It's like it's better to lose now yes. than to lose in the knockout. 100%. And what I love is how the United States responded against the adversity to start the second half. Kuzminskis has it, and the bounce pass to set it. Kerskis! Ball is wedged in between the rim. What a block by Halliburton. Unbelievable. What a play. Yeah, he's uh, pretty impressive for a point guard, the way he can defend in the low post, the way he gets the rim protection, the way he does everything. USA down nine. They need buckets and they need stops. Edwards steps back for three. Good. Another one. 35 points for Anthony Edwards. Back to a six point game. Oh. And the foul. Lithuania asking for an unsportsmanlike. USA protesting. Does, don't think there should be a foul. Well, it, there might have been a push on Bridges before, but Lithuania might have been, a, been fortunate to get the call that they got on Edwards. Kaz Maxvidis wants a review here. I'm very interested to see this because yeah. even though Edwards' hand was on his hip. Okay, let's, let's go, okay? Normal speed. Okay. So we had a contact here. We want to see maybe this one. Yeah, this one. Basketball. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will, I will, I will, I will, I will check. Yeah, it's uh, tripping on the player and also grabbing. So it's, I didn't see any holding by the like this. Okay. Short fall. Yeah, normal foul. Normal action. He's not holding. He's just defending. Number 19 shooter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can call one number. So it's a normal foul. 
It's because uh, Edwards reached out and had his hand on the hip, but they ruled they were ruling that he wasn't grabbing. Yeah, I think it's a good call. And Mike, 51 seconds, 51.7 seconds left. These are big free throws, leading by six. Yes, and again, keep in mind, Coach Kerr has one timeout left, so he can use that whenever he wants here. You know, you give this uh, USA team an inch, and they will take a mile. If you miss a free throw, they will use it to their advantage. They're so used to playing special situations. Kuzmeskis, who has four fouls and has been brilliant tonight. I mean, the shot that he hit from when he was guarded by Edwards, he released it just in time, is unbelievable. Still looking back at it. So Kuzmeskis goes out. So when you look at this United States lineup, they have two point guards, Halliburton and Brunson, Edwards, Bridges, and Vaccaro. They're very small and skilled. Bridges from deep. It's good. And just like that, it's a five-point game. They're going to review it to see if it was a three. And this might as well be an extra timeout for both teams here. You know, if they're smart, the players will go over and go over to the okay. bench. Let's listen in. So, okay, yeah. No, it's clear, okay? Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, three points. Three points. Just stay with the decision. Yo, yo, yo. So that was an easy one. But this is to the advantage of the United States because it allows them to set up their full court defensive pressure. Lithuania knows what's coming. They've obviously practiced for this. Here's Karanauskas. And he gets it up to Demsha, who runs into an open space, wants to avoid the foul, and that is on Edwards. Anthony Edwards picks up his third foul, and Toma uh, Margaret Normantis goes to the free throw line. He's only scored four points tonight. Remember, he had 18 on opening night against Egypt. And 66% shooter coming into this one. He makes the first. Six-point lead right now. This is a critical free throw. Coach Kerr hanging on to his timeout. These guys are so experienced in late game situations. And makes both. So back to a seven point lead. Anthony Edwards to Banquero. Brunson steps back and fouled shooting the three. Karanowskis wants to get a hand in the face. But he doesn't want to foul him. And Brunson, I think, on a follow-through very cleverly makes sure that he gets the hand contact. So with 28.9 seconds left, this is a very important chance for Brunson in the USA. This is the first. He makes the second. Coach T. Lou communicating with his USA players. One trap and a foul. So they're going to continue with the full court pressure. Brunson makes two or three and gets it back to a five-point game. Twenty-eight point nine seconds. 
It's all about pressure D forcing turnovers right now for the USA. Just so many memorable plays tonight, including that one from Seta Karaskas. When you talk about MVPs for Lithuania, it's, it's really hard to choose, in my opinion. The MVP can be the team, can be the entire coaching staff and team. They have come out here with a purpose and gotten themselves but in Edwards position. Was, Edwards was at 35 points, without a doubt, I think. The most important player for the USA. And now the question is, can they get the ball in bounds and can they get it up the court in time? So they've got to get it across before 17 seconds. Hart, an excellent defender in the game. They get it to Kuzminskis. He gets it back to Normantas and now to Karanowskis. And he's fouled by Hart, 21 seconds to go. So really it becomes a free throw game. Down five, USA needs at least one miss right now. Coach Kerr still has one timeout to use when he wants. You under, Mike, you understand why basketball is a religion in Lithuania, right? Well, this has been a fantastic performance. You know, the energy from the crowd, the great team performance. They've played their way, shooting the ball well. I mean, you look around this arena and you see tie-dye shirts everywhere. Made famous, obviously, by the 1992 Olympic team that you were talking about. Shrek is here, green hair. Karanowskis, not sure what was going on. But he is going to be taking a couple of free throws. And a couple of misses will just open the door a little bit more for the USA. He misses the first. That's what the USA needs right there. Now they need to block out and rebound if this is another miss. Karanowskis takes his time and makes the second. Now the USA have to get the ball up the floor. Brunson. 18 seconds left. Brunson goes hard to the basket. And he is fouled two free throws. And that is an ideal scenario for the USA because it stops the clock. The issue here is time is running short. You have a multiple possession game. 32 team FIBA Basketball World Cup, incredible games everywhere you look, surprising results. Because Minskis goes out. I, I'm not sure this would qualify as a surprise, to be honest, but certainly I think most people would have expected the USA to win this game. But these two teams were unbeaten coming into this game and amazing traditions. And, uh, you know, we talk about the consistency of personnel with this Lithuania team and the system that you talk about. But Brunson makes the first to get it back to a five point game. There's still time for the USA. Brunson does indeed make both free throws. So, so he's going to go out and Hart comes in for defense. Yeah, but this is also really good from Coach Kerr using his substitution yeah, to, set the to set up the defense. Yeah. You can see the expertise in terms of managing these late game situations. Now the USA is down for 16 seconds. They need a turnover. Again, look for the trap and foul. 
Oh. Nomantis going, doesn't get it. Vaquero comes up for the steal. The three-point shot for Bridges from the corner is no good. And now Dempsey has it. The wide open floor. He's going to go in for the dunk. And Lithuania has dodged the bullet right at the end. The United States got the steal they needed, and they missed the shot from the corner. And then they weren't able to get the rebound. Jeff, you can see they just sped up a little bit too much. They got a great look from Bridges, and then just that's how it goes. You're crashing the boards in desperation. There's no basket coverage. Dimsha, Dimsha has played with so much confidence tonight. 11 points, four rebounds. Here you see Coach Kerr drawn up, 6.8 seconds to go. They'll go for a quick bucket. Down six, I think you try to get a three as quickly as you can, and then try to pick up full court, get a steal, foul, and keep trying to play it out. But that was the great opportunity for the United States. And Jeff, many people will criticize the United States for a loss like this, but I think this has been a great comeback from the United States. I think yep. this is exactly what this team needs yep. to grow and develop. And I think, as we said before, to lose this game yep. is the right one to lose. And now, I think a loss might just help them more than a win tonight. It sure doesn't hurt them because it's only matchups. They're not out of the tournament. Anthony Edwards. From deep, misses, and Brunson for three, misses, and Lithuania have remained unbeaten by defeating the United States of America in the second round. Kazis Maxvitas, his greatest win as coach of Lithuania, and no doubt the biggest win for a lot of these Lithuania players. They do it for the pride of their country. They do it because it's so important for Lithuania. They have done it. They have beaten the USA to clinch first place in Group G, Group J, 110 to 104. Well, they are both on the court right now. Lithuania is celebrating. USA understanding. Now we understand, if we didn't, how you have to come out every single game. And it's not going to be easy. This Lithuania team, probably one of the few teams capable of beating the Americans, I would think, at this tournament. Yeah, this game has two important parts. The first part was the great win and great team performance from Lithuania. Clearly, they deserve it. They played great together. They played well on both ends. But let's also recognize the outstanding comeback from the United States. They really battled. They really fought. They dug too deep a hole. But this is the important part. It's not to, that you win every game. You don't have to win every game. You have to win the right game. So this is a great learning experience for the United States. It's a great opportunity to grow and improve this young roster, help them get a better understanding of what it takes to win. And at the same time, this is a great confidence builder for this Lithuanian squad. Congratulations. It's just, a, from my perspective, this is just another great game at what has been a truly spectacular FIBA Basketball World Cup. A tournament that any player that has taken part in this is going to treasure for a long time. Look at this. And we've still got a long way to go. You, you know, know, the important stat coming up is going to be the rebounds. Three more threes made by Lithuania. They shot the free throws well, both teams, effectively. Look at the rebounds. And, Jeff, in those rebounds, it's 18 offensive rebounds for Lithuania. Now, it happens once against Montenegro. You say, hey, get a better motor, get a better effort, better energy. But now back-to-back -back games, as you see the scoring leaders, look at that wonderful game from Edwards. Karanauskas, Kuzminskis, Valanchunas, big games for Lithuania. But Jeff, the USA has got to 
get the details and habits of old school blocking out your man to control the defensive boards. It's not good enough just to go out athletic people. You are being outworked on the offensive boards two games in a row. And for me, this is the number one area where Team USA can improve in the FIBA style game. Well, Lithuania knew they would never be able to rest until this thing was over. This fourth quarter was just electric stuff as the United States really put the pressure on them to try to complete the comeback all the way down from 21 points. And it was electric, end-to-end -end stuff. But then there were turnovers and there were opportunities like this for Lithuania to get out on the break and to score. Anthony Edwards pouring in 35 points on the night. It really, I think, carrying the hopes offensively for the team. But then you had numerous players stroking it from deep for Lithuania, including Bengius. And of course, we're gonna see that remarkable, I think, remarkable shot from Kuzminskis in a second. Brunson making, making that shot. And look at this. This is the incredible shot right here. When he makes this, you're thinking, this might just be Lithuania's game. They might just hold on. Valanciunas helped them believe early. Kuzminskis' three helped them believe late. This was a great team win for Lithuania. And as you said, Densha, one of the Warriors in this team tonight. 11 points for rebounds, Edwards. Always amazing when he takes the court for the USA. And that was the shot they needed to make Bridges to cut the gap to one. Dempsey goes down for the final dunk, and the fans of Lithuania were able to celebrate. Again, already both teams in the quarterfinals, but from a psychological standpoint for Lithuania, you know this has to help them. And for the USA, it's going to sharpen their focus. So, Montenegro winning earlier today over Greece, so they finished third, and Lithuania beating uh, USA 110 to 104. Uh, to clinch first place. So Montenegro over Greece by four, and then that thriller that we just watched here. In fact, it was a thriller in Manila. They go up uh, number one. They charge into number one here, Group J, uh, and will no doubt be full of confidence heading into the last eight. So the road to Paris, teams that have already qualified for the Olympic Games, South Sudan, what an amazing story that is. The USA, uh, they are assured of being one of the top two teams from the Americas. Japan, the number one team uh, in Asia that have uh, clinched their qualification. Australia have clinched it from Oceania, and of course, France as the hosts. They already have a spot in the Olympics secured. Well, we came tonight knowing we were gonna go to great, get a great game, and we did. Lithuania got up big, the USA came back, but in the end, it was the team in green, Lithuania, that won it to clinch first place in Group J.